Hi there, my name's Martin Rees. I am a full-time professional magician, and today I broke the official Guinness World Records title for the most magic tricks performed blindfolded Five, in one minute. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> So trying to do the most magic tricks in a minute is tricky in itself because obviously you've got to consider things like exposure, uh, the people seeing how the tricks were done, um, and also trying to remember what trick comes next. So it's bad enough trying to do it without a blindfold, but with the blindfold thrown in, it takes it to a whole different level because uh, I've got to do that all purely from muscle memory. I literally practiced the routine at least it was about 220 times um, before today just to ensure that I felt very comfortable in the moment uh, because I, I didn't want to get myself flustered and potentially miss actually uh, breaking the record. I first got into magic when I was four years old, got a uh, Paul Daniels magic set for Christmas and that's what uh, bit me with the magic bug. I uh, did my first gig when I was about 12 or 13, which was a wedding for £20 and I've been doing magic ever since. Uh, so in total it'll be about 16, 17 years now uh, that I've been performing magic and working on my craft. So I get to perform at so many weird and wonderful events. Uh, I, when I first actually started working on the uh, record title for the most magic tricks performed blindfolded in one minute, I actually did the first attempt on Britain's Got Talent 2018. And I was the only person that year to get a record on the show, which was amazing. And um, I've since now uh, broken it again. In my spare time, I work with a charity called Spread a Smile, who provide entertainment and events for children in hospital. So every week we go to Great Ormond Street uh, and a few of the other hospitals in London, and I use magic as a form of therapy, uh, just to put a smile on the face and brighten up their mood. Okay, we are 100% going to tie a knot in it this time, okay? Can you hold on to the balloon for me? So it's uh, been a really humbling experience doing that. Uh, I've been doing it for the last four years and it was actually doing the charity work that inspired me to get out and do something different and that's how I've ended up doing the world records. Uh, if it wasn't for just starting with the charity and if it wasn't for Spread a Smile, I certainly wouldn't be here today and uh, most likely wouldn't have uh, got the three records that I have. I also hold the records for the most magic tricks in a wind tunnel in three minutes and also the most magic tricks performed on a single skydive. When I first came up with the idea for doing the skydive world record, uh, I, I had to fund all the uh, research and development for it myself. And doing skydiving is by no means a cheap uh, hobby, nor am I a proficient skydiver, so I had no real experience with skydiving. So I wanted to look for a way of being able to uh, practice doing the tricks in that particular wind speed. And then thankfully I found the uh, indoor skydiving place in Milton Keynes, which had a vertical wind tunnel. And that allowed me then to practice with the different tricks, see what uh, materials behaved like in that wind speed. Uh, it makes it very difficult in that wind speed because everything's trying to fight to get out of your hands. Uh, but not only that, every little move that you make as you're free falling affects the way that you fall. So as well as having to learn how to do the tricks in that wind speed, I also had to learn how to counterbalance myself so that while I'm moving my arms and affecting the area dynamics of my fall, I'm not sending myself and the instructor hurtling across the wind tunnel, which did happen a few times, and there was a few quite nasty bumps and bruises with that. Growing up, I got the Guinness World Records book every year, and so I used to read through it, spend hours reading through it, uh, looking at all these incredible records. And uh, so to now be an adult, and uh, to be not only just a Guinness World Records holder, uh, but a triple Guinness World Record magician, um, it's just an amazing thing. It's, it's, it's really kind of given me a, a, my own identity. 
anyone looking to achieve a Guinness World Record title, uh, I would say 100% go for it. Not for the faint-hearted, you will have to work hard in order to get it, but I promise you, if you do it, you'll feel so, so over the moon once you've got that record title.